Hello everyone, welcome back with the free cat basic part design tutorials for exercise number 28 how to create the spring loaded okay and here I will uh, create the body springs you can click uh, create new and I will change into part design click uh, create body create sketch and I will choose top plan we create the rectangle start from this point Use uh, these tools to change uh, dimension for uh, this line. We can set into 61. And also in a width, we can set into 34. Correct circle, start from this point. Okay, we correct uh, for circle. And I will use uh, this constraint to make equal between these uh, all circle. You can select one by one. The next, we can set a radius in uh, the circles into three. Use horizontal dimension to set a distance from this point into here. We can set into 13. Also, at uh, this uh, circle, we can set into 13. And use these uh, tools okay, in a uh, vertical to set from this point into here set again from this point into here now distance between these two circles we can set into 22 okay, also in here set into 22 the next distance from this point into here we can set into 6 okay, also in here we can set into 6 Click close, and we can use pet tools to convert into 3D. You can set for length into 2,5. Okay, select at this space, and I will create new sketch. Okay, we create a circle. Start from this point. Okay, also we create again at this point, and use this uh, constraint to make equal between these two circle. We can set radius into three. The next use these tools to create a reference edge, and I will set for distance in here. We can set into eleven. Use uh, this vertical constraint to set vertical from this point into here. Okay. The next you can set for length. From this point into here okay uh, in here we can set uh, horizontals so it will be correct from this point into here and then distance between these uh, two circle we can set into 22 click close and use pet tools to convert into 3d we can set for length into 23,5 Okay, select again at this face, click a cross cut, and use uh, these tools to create a reference edge in uh, this two edge. The next, we use uh, these tools, rectangle, I will create stuff from this point into here. Create again stuff from this point into this point. We can set for length in this line into 2,5. Also in here, 2,5. And you can extrude. Use a pet tools. Okay, you can extrude to the top. In here, we can set into 31. Okay. The next, you can select at uh, this uh, edge, and we can use uh, fillet tools to fillet with radius uh, 17. Now I will select up this face and you can create new dentum plan. We can set for a z-axis into minus 17. The next you can use a mirror tools, click here mirror, and our mirror fillet. You can set for reference into this dentum plan, click OK. The next we can hide this dentum plan. 
Select at this face and click uh, create sketch. Use these tools to create the reference edge. And I will create circle start from this point. We can set radius in uh, the circle. Okay, you can set into five for radius. Use this uh, packet tools to create holes and I will set length into 100. So it will be automatically create hole again at this point. Click OK. The last you can select at this face and click a model tab. You can change the fence into true. You can select at uh, this edge. We can fillet. You can select again in here. This edge. Click fillet tools and we can fillet with radius. 2,5. The last you can select this edge. We can fill it with radius 5 okay, in here. Click fill it tools and set for radius into 5. Okay, now we already cut this uh, part for body spring loaded. You can click files, click save. And we can set name into body spring loaded. Click save. The next part we can create for handle spring. You can click here to create new part. And click uh, create body, create sketch. In here I will use uh, this uh, front plan. The next, we can create line. Okay, start from this point to the top. And create again to drag here. For length, you can set in here into 135. And then for these uh, horizontal lines, we can set into 21. You also can set again. Uh, I will fill it in here. Okay, uh, we use these tools. We can set again for distance, length, okay, and in here for horizontals. The next, we can set a radius in uh, this uh, arch. I will set into 10. And you can use this vertical constraint to make this line vertical. Click close and we create sketch. Choose uh, this plan, okay, top plan. Create circle, start from the center point and we can set for radius into 5. Click OK. Click close. Now in here I will use sweep tools. Okay, you can click here and click sweep. For objects, we can select uh, these objects and you can click OK. It will be automatically sweeps. We can chamfer at uh, this edge, you can select and you can click here, use uh, chamfer tools. We can set for type into two distance. In this size, you can set into two and for size two, we can set into seven. Click OK. The next, uh, I will click models and you can active for origins. I will select at this plan and we create uh, new dentum plan. Okay, you can click here, click a dentum plan. Select at uh, this plan for uh, the first uh, reference plan. And we can set in uh, Z direction into 15. Click OK. Now you can select at this dentum plan. And click Create Sketch. Create Sickle, start from this point. We can set radius in uh, the circles into two. The next set a distance okay, from uh, this point into here. We can set into 40. Click Close. And then use Path Tools. Okay, we can set in a reverse, you can check in here, and I will set length into 30. Click OK. Now you also can hide this origin and hide again the template. 
select up this face, and we create new sketch. Use these tools to create the reference edge, and I will create circles start from this point. Set a radius in the circles into six, and you can use pet tools to convert into 3D. For extrusion, we can set into 15. The last, you can select up this edge, and we can use fillet tools. I will fillet with a radius one. Click OK. Now we already create this part for handle spring loaded. You can click files, click save, and give name into handle spring loaded. Save. The next part I will create spring. Okay, you can click uh, create new document. Okay, it will be automatically create new document and click uh, create body, create sketch. I will change into this uh, front plan. Okay, create circle start from this point. Set a radius in uh, the circle. You can set into one and a distance from a center point into here. I will set into six. Okay, now you can close. The next uh, in here, we can use these tools. Okay, additive helix, you can select. So it will be automatically create additive helix. For height, we can set into 26. And pitch, I will set into 4. Okay, this uh, create simple spring. Click OK. Now you can uh, click files, click save. You give name into spring. Click save. The next, we can create new documents, and I will save uh, this new document. Click File, Save. You can save into Assembly. For Spring Loaded, click Save. And you can change part the signs into A2+. Now you can click at these icons, we can insert new parts. Okay, I will insert for handle springs. One, this for handle spring. And we insert again for spring. Click. Okay, I will select at this edge. And you can select again in this edge. The next click at this tools to move. Click delete constraint and yes. Click a front view. And you can select this spring. Right click. Click a transforms, we can move uh, to the right here. And then you can move to the top. Okay. The next we can insert for the other objects for body. You can click here body spring loaded. I will click at this point. The next we can select this body. We use a uh, transform tools. Okay. I will rotate in uh, this current axis. 90 degree, and then we rotate in uh, red axis, 90 degree. Okay, you can change into top view, it's okay. The next I will select from uh, this point. Click again in here, and you can use uh, these tools to move. Click delete constraint. Yes, and you can click front view, select body springs, right clicks, and transforms. We can move uh, the subjects to the top. Sorry, to this point. Okay. You also can move again, it's like uh, 0, 0,5. Move in the right axis. Okay. Click OK to apply. 
Now we already created this uh, simple part the science tutorials for exercise number 28, how to create a spring loaded. And if you have any question about this tutorial, you can comment below this video.